What's going on, beautiful people? D-Lo Brands back for another video. And today we are stepping into the world of Google AI. Yes. Uh, we cover a lot of these, but they have something very new. This is groundbreaking for AI. I mean, uh, Google. And we know that they've been doing a bunch of different AI experiments. They have shown themselves within every aspect of AI. Uh, generative AI to be specific. And now this is yet another tool that we are going to be able to use to push our brands forward and create better. So this is called Pomaly, I am assuming. And they've, of course, released some documentation. So let's just watch the preliminary video on what it is and, you know, check it out. Um, before we do get in, be sure to join the new AI Educate AI Lab community on WAP. It is where you will be able to get the latest news and also some education on AI and also access to a community that you can collaborate with. We're always experimenting with things. So um, let's share each other's experiments and processes and elevate each other within this AI uh, pursuit of ours. So let's dive into Pomaly and, and check it out. All right, cool. So what I'm guessing right now is, okay, so basically this is going to be kind of a, a Canva competitor, but in Google's own way, it's supposed to help you create on-brand content for your business. So uh, the first thing that they boasted was that it is going to learn about your business. Show us your business, add your business URL and generate, and it's going to basically capture all of the data from your URL. So enter your website, Pomeline will analyze it and create your business DNA. Okay. Um, then it will create tailored campaign ideas if we don't have one, but based on our business I, uh, DNA, it will create our ideas for us and we will be able to edit and export all of these uh, creations inside of Pomeline. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, cool. So uh, let's try this out. And I did go ahead and input one of my businesses in here. So we inputted the views agency, which basically this is the DNA that it got. Um, it got both of our fonts from our website, uh, got our tagline, our brand values, our brand tone of voice. And all of this came from our website. So it's, it's going to be very important to kind of make your website viewable from an AI agent. An AI agent needs to be able to get specific data from your website. So um, that's just something to keep in the back of your mind, making sure that your website is up to date. But it got my images, brand images. It got even images from our client projects, images from our black card subscription colors. All right, cool. So we can go in here and change these at any given time. We can add our logo. Let's say we wanted to add our TVA logo. Uh, let's go with, let's just go with the white one. TVA V1, there we go. Uh, it's going to be white. So let's click that one. And bam, we now have our logo uploaded. So cool. This is kind of like the back end and it gave us some suggestions right here. So 48 hours and done. So this is playing off of our design on demand. 
all of these are playing off of our design on a man. And we see that it is utilizing the pictures in ways that it actually should use them. So when we see this right here, this is a picture that comes from um, our design subscription. And so it's saying design on demand for a hour turnaround guaranteed rapid creative delivery without typical agency delays. And we can go in here and change everything. So let's say we wanted to, to say, stop wasting design time. Okay. And so boom, it's going to update it. Uh, we can even change the font. Can we change the position? Okay, so we can click fix layout. Let me see. Uh, the description is actually cut off. So let's, let's click fix layout and okay, it takes longer to fix layouts and things like that. So let's go over to a different one. Um, let's see, need creative now. So this is all playing off of the black card, but I want to do a different, um, experiment with you guys so instead of using this brand dna i want to use a different brand dna so let's go ahead and reset this let's delete all i'm pretty sure it's going to delete everything okay cool so this is the first page that you will get when you enter uh, pomely and we are going to use the educate website so educate.us Press continue. Now it is going to analyze our website and basically gather all of the information. We can even see the agent going to our website, gathering our colors and um, all of the information from our website. So we're going to give it time to do this and then we will be back when it has gathered everything. All right, so it did say that it was going to take, what, 10 minutes, but it took maybe about two minutes, maybe a minute and a half. And so it collected our business name. We're just going to change this to educate with a lowercase i. Um, it has one of our fonts. This is a sans serif font. I'm pretty sure that's a monospace, monospace uh, font, if I'm correct. But we can go in here and choose fonts if we want to. Um, I'm just going to, let's see, some good Google fonts. We'll just, we'll just leave that for now. And we're going to upload our AI educate logo. We're going to do, um, word mark. So bam, do this one. And then it grabbed our colors. Our tagline, empowering small and medium businesses with AI to achieve measurable results. And I'm actually re reworking a lot of the strategy, the brand strategy behind AI Educate. So we're just going to use this for now. Democratizing of AI. Oh my gosh. Democratization of AI education. Please forgive me. Uh, but it's basically captured all of the information. So, um, also the images and we're going to say, let's go. So. It comes up with these ideas using the images, but also let's say I want to create a Halloween themed campaign talking about AI education. So let's generate those ideas. I'm pretty sure that it's going to use like a combination of nano banana, but it seems like since the text can be changed or um, it's placed very perfectly, these it doesn't look like the text is being generated as an image. It looks like the text is being generated in a different faction. So it gives us these ideas for the actual campaign, AI learning toolkit to results, highlighting the practical three treats, no tricks, AI efficiency. Don't let AI spook your success. Let's do that one. So it's going to give us a, a couple minutes and then it's going to give us back some um, creatives. So they have been popping up one by one and we can see here, I think that the more pictures that we add and so, okay, so right here is the first generations off of just giving our website and getting some ideas. 
Uh, these are the generations that it gave. Now, these are very, very, very simple. These, um, like, are super simple, almost too simple. Uh, but this one is using an AI generated image. So I think that, you know, if it uses more of those rather than images that we input, then I think it can have a lot of good benefits. But like this one right here, the AI revolution is here. Don't let the fear of complex tech. Don't let the fear of complex tech leave your business in the dark. I think that this is a good post. This is a good story post, but, um, Let's see. We can create different sizes. Okay. We can create for the feed. We can create a header and description. Let's just say a header and a call to action. And we can have an image. We can choose the image that it uses. Describe the background you want the image to have. An abstract blue energy background. Okay. 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 So boom, we're going to see a preview of that. I'm pretty sure. So I'm clicking go. That's not doing anything, but whatever. Let's just say describe the uh, creative. Let's say um, a poster saying AI is here to stay. Let's just let's just see what this comes up with. And they do go pretty quickly, but like, this is very bad. This is a very bad one. And it may just be that we have not configured the settings in our business DNA enough. So if we want to add a font, let's say we want to add Montserrat. Everybody knows Montserrat apply. Um, we have our colors right here, all of these things. So maybe. If we add more images, which we can, we can add that image, we can add um, this image, we can add both of those. We can add some of our program images. Um, these right here. AI Educate Lab. And then we are going to click apply and bam. So now it has more to work with. It came up with something very simple utilizing the image. It's just, you know, it's not much, but I think if you wanted to experiment with automating your social media, then this can be a way that you can go. I just don't think that this is going to bring you any AI growth or social media growth, but I think that if you want to kind of experiment with some different layouts or different images, different text placements, I mean, the text placements are going to be pretty linear. They're not going to be anything extravagant. So my take on this right now is that it can be used like, okay, the AI gap is widening like it, it, it would just need more instructions. And I think that the business DNA, while it does have a lot in it, I think it needs to be much more in depth to be able to create the designs like this. Like you, you should be able to upload reference content or, uh, reference kind of on brand images. You can say, Hey, photography should look like this. Our social media cover should look like this, you know, and give it different things like that. But. Um, let me know what you guys think about Pomely. I apologize if I am pronouncing that wrong, but, uh, for me, it, I'm definitely not going to be using this anytime soon. I'm a graphic designer, so I can do all of this myself. And even now I use ChatGPT as my graphic designer most of the time if I'm not creating it myself. So yeah, I, I'm going to give it about a, Three out of ten. A three out of ten. It gets the job done, but it doesn't do it well. So, uh, yeah. Now that has been Google Pomely.
check it out and you know see what type of experiments you're able to yield from this uh i think that it can become something great if the designs were a bit better but uh, this has been D-Lo Brands. I appreciate each and every one of you. Be sure to join the AI AI Educate Daily Download, which is our newsletter, and you will be able to get bite-sized pieces of information about how to do different things. And also, sometimes I'm putting out news, so you get it right to your phone, and uh, it's a great way to stay up to date with AI. But be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see each of you in the next video. Peace.